Hello my dear friends, welcome to our channel must watch tips and today in this video I am going to show how to make this beautiful amazing and eye catching presentation in simple steps. Yes, by looking it, it seems that it is very difficult to make this presentation but trust me, I will be showing you easy and simple steps so that you can also make this same presentation in just few minutes. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. And if you are watching my video for the first time, you can always visit my channel where you will find videos of Microsoft PowerPoint and in that there are very creative ideas in which I have created PowerPoint presentations. Along with that, I upload videos of Microsoft Power BI and data analysis using Microsoft Excel. So have a look at my channel and subscribe if you like it. Now let us start creating this video. So first of all, let me take a new presentation by pressing Ctrl and and now we need a blank slide. So we will go to slides and take a blank slide over here. Delete this first one. Now the very first step would be to add a video. So we will go to insert and in the media options, media groups, you will find various options to add. So, so we want to add a video. So we'll go to video and I have a video stored in my PC. So I'll click video on my PC. If you don't have video in your system, then you can go to online videos as well. So I'll click on this and We'll select the video and now after inserting the video, make sure your video dimensions and the dimension of your slides are same. If not so, then you can change the dimension of your slide by going to design and slide size. So here you can select the custom size as well according to your video inserted. Now if you want to make this video more contrasting, then we'll select on this video, go to video format and in correction option, we'll select contrast 20%. So you can see the difference if I'll press Ctrl Z, it is changing its contrast by 20%. So it is now looking better than the previous one. Now the next step would be to insert a table. So we'll go to insert and then we will go to table. So we'll select a table of 8 cross 5. You can take as per your convenience and i'll drag this table such that it covers all the slide area like this and now if we go to table style we will select the one which only has borders like this and in the shading option we will select no fill for me the border of the cells looks fine in the table so if you want to increase the thickness of these uh, borders so you can go to this and change the thickness of the border like for example, if I choose three point, then it will be like this. I'll press Ctrl Z. Now I'm taking black border. So if you want, you can take white border as well. And by doing this, our second part is over. So let us now move to the third part. So now let me select this eight cells. And in table design, I'll select white filled cells. And if I go to format shape, I will select 30% transparency. Like this and you can see that there are borders inside this uh, text box which we have just created so we will remove this border so we will go to table design and in border we will select all of this will select no border so now we have removed border inside this uh, eight cells but we want a border outside this cell so we'll select all eight of these cells and in border we will select outside border like this and the border has came more thicker because we have selected three points over here and this is looking fine to me as well so i will keep as it is and let us repeat this step for some more cells so we have completed our third step and now it's time to add a text box so i will paste some text from my clipboard like this and black color fonts are enhancing this presentation but if you want to make it more attractive then we'll select this font we'll go to this font color option and in eyedropper we will choose any of this font from here like this and now one last key point to note over here is that you have inserted a video and it has a duration so it will stop automatically after the video gets over 
so we need to make some changes in the playback so we'll go we'll select this video and select playback and there you have an option of loop until stop so we'll click and click on this and we'll select rewind after playing so if you click on both of these checkboxes then your presentation will not be stopped until you press escape button or end your presentation and now my dear friends we are ready with our slide so let us see what we have made till now So I hope you like this video and if you like this video please consider subscribing to our channel and if you have any questions do ask that in the comment box given below and now it's time to say you goodbye